Hi everyone, I'm Bethany the Booktastic Mom and today I have a $10 thrift store homeschool challenge. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Now you're probably thinking, what is a $10 thrift store homeschool challenge? Well, let me explain. So on YouTube, I've seen some of these challenges, well, kind of these challenges pop up in my feed where someone takes $10, they go into a thrift store, and they try to find the best thing they can find inside. So I thought, well, let's kind of flip this around a little bit and make it homeschool themed since this is a homeschool channel. So the rules are, I'm going to take this $10, I'm going to go into Goodwill, this is the closest thrift store to my home, and I'm going to try to find the best things I can inside that are homeschool themed. I can get one thing, I can get multiple things, just as long as it does not go over the $10 I have here. Now I'm going to try and film inside and show you some of the things I find. Now this thrift store is pretty tiny, so I'm really crossing my fingers that I could find something in there today. Um, but let's go guys. Okay, the color of the week is white. I'm gonna go over to the game section first. Guys, they have so many games and puzzles. I cannot believe it. I seriously thought coming here that I wasn't gonna find anything and I have a feeling I'm not gonna know what to pick. There's Cranium, Monopoly. This is pretty cool. This is an alphabet match and learn puzzle. Math Builder, this looks pretty cool. Oh, the original memory game! I had this when I was a kid. And a puzzle, I love floor puzzles. And color forms, guys, I seriously had this. It looks like it's been used up some, but there are some, let's see, sheets yet that haven't been used yet. Got a microscope set. Bot maze, this looks pretty interesting. This is Magna Shapes, never heard of that before. This Kid Scavenger Hunt game, we have this, and it's so much fun. Scrabble Junior. And we have this ABC, oh, <laughs> floor puzzle. Dropping everything here, guys. We, um, snap circuits. Some flashcards. And it just goes on and on and on. American trivia game. And <laughs> okay, guys, where does this look familiar from? Let me know down in the comments. This basket's super cute, very tea tree. And we have some sentence strips, pink and white, and tons and tons of books. It is a mess. But there are so many, I'm not even showing all the shelves. There's shelves on the bottom that are just piled high with so many books. This is like booktastic bomb heaven, guys. So these are some of my favorites. I love Curious George books. Call you the Chance of Meatballs. Oh, this is nice. This is a coloring book, Birds, The Little House. McCreary's Fields, Manatee's Winter, Flickerica Dicka, The Velveteen Rabbit, and Little Chick's Big Day. Let's go check out. The total is in and I'm at 9.54. I'll meet you guys back at the car. Okay guys, I'm back in the car and I got a whole bag of stuff for $10. I was so surprised of all the things they had in there. I was really thinking I was gonna go in there and there wasn't gonna be much selection at all. And I was 
super surprise. So let's go back home and see what I got. So I am back home. I have my bag of $10 thrifted items here. I'm so excited to show you what I got. Let me show you the proof here. I have the receipt. And let me show you that it came to $9.54. I did go over and I had them take one thing off so I could do the challenge properly. I got this American trivia game. Never heard of it before, but we are studying America and the USA. We're doing Not Grasses. Our 50 states curriculum this year we are loving it. it is the best and I thought that this game would go perfectly with that it is taped together I'm crossing my fingers that all the pieces are here and this was $3.99 and it says it is made in the USA which is pretty cool it actually looks pretty new look at this this is pretty neat so it comes with this game board it has the spinner on it and it has all the states with all the capitals and it has a box of cards and a bunch of these little play people and it looks like it was, wasn't used that much it only has one set of the cards open the other ones are still wrapped up so it looks like it has two different sides it looks like this side's easier so it says what city is nicknamed the big apple and that is new york so i got that right so this was definitely a hit. Let's see what else I got. We'll go here with our second, it's not a game, I guess, it's a puzzle. It is the alphabet match and learn game where it has the pictures and the letters and the words. I thought this would be perfect for my kindergartner. I'm crossing my fingers again to hope that all the pieces are inside here. But here is what it looks like. We have a tree and a little butterfly. And here's one of the um, pieces that has the words and the letters on them. So this is perfect. And this one was $1.99. And then I got this here which is a bunch of stickers. I love stickers so much. My kids love stickers. And so when I saw this, I was like, gotta get it. It was only 99 cents. And let me show you, we have some Christmas stickers, pumpkins, leaves and um, squirrels. We have a little beach theme, picnic, birds. My kids love birds. We did a bird science unit this year. So I know they're going to enjoy that. And some ones are kind of used up some sports and winter. So I thought these would be a fun activity for them. Decorate their papers. I also do morning baskets every few weeks or so and I always put stickers in them. So these would be perfect for that as well. Okay and next I got some books. Wouldn't be one of my videos without some books. The video before I showed a bunch that um, they had and I had to narrow it down. It was pretty tough, guys. I, um, I wanted them all, but you know, I had to follow the challenge. And most of these books were white stickers and the white was half off. So I'm pretty sure that all of these books were half off. So they were all 50 cents a piece. So first we have The Little House, it is a award winning book, the illustrations were so cute. I've seen this book many, many times before, it's been on my wish list for a while, so I was so excited to get this. And this is just about this little house that in the big city was built around it, like the movie Up. And on the end here it shows how they... They rolled the house into the country. That's super cute. And then we have this one. It's called Little Chick's Big Day. It was so cute. It's an early reader, so this would be perfect for my kindergartner. The illustrations were so pretty, and I love books about farms. And we have chickens, so I thought this would be perfect. It has chickens in it. 
that is this book. And then I got this one. This was an activity book. So this is a coloring book that is all about birds. And like I said earlier, my girls love birds. So I thought this would be a fun activity for them. It's never been colored in before. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then one last book. When I saw this, I was so excited. Not sure if my kids would be so excited, but this was one of my favorite books as a kid. They had this set at my library and I would take out these books pretty much every single time that I went to the library. And it wasn't until recently that I remembered them and um, looked them up and we got them from the library a while back. And it was there, one of the books was there. And it's this one here called Flicka, Ricka, and Dicka and the Dotted Dresses. Oh, I'm so excited. I loved these books so much. It has a vintage style from the 1930s. So here we go. Here's this picture and this brings back so many memories. And that is it, I believe. Yes, the bag is empty. So what do you guys think? This was so much fun. I thought I was going to go into that store and there was going to be nothing there. I didn't think that I was going to have to like narrow things down. It really was so much fun and maybe I'll do this again. If you guys like this video let me know and maybe I'll go to a, a bigger store like Savers or something like that. And if you do this challenge let me know if you have a YouTube channel or if you're on social media and you do this challenge. Please tag me, let me know, I'd love to watch it and to share it. And it'd be interesting to see what kind of homeschool things you find in your thrift store. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please hit that bell to be notified for future uploads. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.